This is your Dust in the Wind guitar lesson. Let's start it off with a C chord. That's going to be the third fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fourth string, and the first fret of the second string. The trickiest part about this is the picking pattern. We're going to pick the fifth string and second string simultaneously. I'm going to use my middle finger for the second string and my thumb pick for the fifth string. And then after that, I'm looking at this as pairs of strings. The inner two strings will be the pattern, then the strings outside of that, the second and fifth string, then back to the inner two strings. So let me demonstrate that. We're going to pick the paired tones, then the fourth and third string, then the fifth and second string, then back to the fourth and third string. So that's your picking pattern. You want to get that down first before you move on. So let's practice that a couple times. Here's what that would look like slowly. Repeat that, it's going to be through the whole song for the most part. Okay, so practice that until you've got that down, and then when you're ready, we're going to uh, start changing the chord up here. So you start out with a C chord, and then you're just going to kind of uh, change the melody line of this C chord. For example, the first one that gets changed is this uh, B string here. This C note gets moved to an open B, so you'll just lift that for your first change. And then the next change, you put your pinky down on the D note at the third fret of the B string. And then back to the first fret of the B string for the next one. So you're basically just walking along on the B string while leaving these two fingers held down. And that's kind of the uh, motif for most of this tune, so keep an eye on that, just walking through that melody. So here, let's walk through this first sequence. we got the C chord. Now we're going to lift that first finger from this note to a B, uh, B note and do the same picking. Put your pinky down on the third fret for a D note and play the same picking pattern. Back to this C note on the first fret. Okay, and that's the whole first section. You're all set. So let me walk through that whole thing slowly now. All right, the next chord is going to be based off of an A minor chord. We're going to start it off with this shape here. This would be the A minor shape at the second fret of the D string, second fret of the G string, and the uh, first fret again here on the B string. But starting this off, we're going to lift that off of the B, so you're going to have the open B string. And the same picking pattern applies. Now let's try this. And add this pinky down on the D note again. Back to the first fret C note. the open B again. Okay, let me walk through that whole section slowly now. Alright, now we're back into the C chord, and the only thing that changed was this pattern here that's being used on the B string. So it's the same concept as before, but starting with the pinky on D. Then to a regular C chord, just lift the pinky, lift the index finger, pinky back down. So that's basically the same as the first section, right, with a different melody line. And now we've got the A minor next again here. Lift it, index finger. Put the pinky down. And back to the A minor. And at the end of this, uh, when you hit that final A minor, you'll actually go... into the verse, right? So let me walk you through that. So we get this A minor. You're going to pick the same paired notes there, the fourth string and third string. And then this last thing we're going to do is the uh, open A string with this note here on the first fret of the second string. Pick those together. Then the second fret of the A string and the third fret of the B string simultaneously. Then you're right back into the verse after that, which is the C chord. Okay, let's go to this next section. All right, now in this next section, we're going to start it off with a C chord once again, but the uh, pattern's slightly different as we move forward through this, but let's take a look. Here's the first verse. We've got a C chord. And we're going to 
to go to this new chord here, which is going to be uh, based off of the G chord. We're going to have this B note on the fifth string here and this D note on the second string. This is the second fret here and third fret here. All right, so that measure once again, C chord. go to an A minor again here, but this time we're going to use this open E string for this melody line. So you hit the fifth string and then the uh, first string at the same time for this A minor. Then to this note here for your melody. And this actually goes to an open G right here. So this measure again with this open E and this A minor chord. finger for that. All right, now we're going to go to this G chord here, and uh, it's kind of like a G7. It looks like we're just going to need this top string at the third fret here, and you'll do the same picking pattern from there. Okay, that's a G chord. Then it goes to an F chord. Okay, so that's going to be a, a small version of the F chord. You'll have the third uh, string here, third string, second fret, and bar these bottom two at the first uh, fret, second, first and second string at the first fret, excuse me. So this is the F chord here. And then do a second string, uh, excuse me, third string. We're going to pull this note off here on the second fret of the third string. Okay, so let me walk you through this measure again because I know I wasn't that clear on that. Here we go with this G chord again. To the F chord. Pull off the third string. Okay, now we're going to move on to the A minor chord once again with the open E string with it. And we've got an ending here, the same ending we learned before where we hit these notes simultaneously and these two notes simultaneously. That's the same as the previous ending we learned. All right, now we're going on to the C chord again. G chord again, to the A minor with the open E, G chord, to the F again, pull off on the third string, A minor again, with a pull off on the fourth string this time at the end of that sequence. Let me show you that one more time. The A minor with the pull off. Pull off with the middle finger there. All right, in this next section, we're going to start it off with a different chord shape here. We're going to be on this F sharp on the second fret of the sixth string. And we'll have our pinky once again down here on the second string of the third fret. And we're going to use our middle finger on the third string of the second fret for this A note here. All right, let's try this. It's the same picking pattern from there, though. We're going to go to a G chord with our ring finger on the top string, or the sixth string, excuse me, at the third fret here. But at the end of this, we're going to do a pull off of the A string at the second fret. All right, let me walk you through this measure one more time like that. Now we're to A minor again. And we're going to add our pinky on the sixth string at the third fret for this next part here, which is leaving the A minor held and adding that pinky note. Now we're going to pull off the D string at the second fret. All right, let's try this measure one more time. A minor. With the pinky on the G note. And a pull off. There you go. Okay, now we're on to this F sharp chord once again. Open G string there to the G chord with a pull off of the A string. That measure one more time slowly. Now this last measure here is a little different from all the other ones. We're going to do the open second string and open fifth string at the same time, but we're going to hammer on the first fret of the B string. Okay, then you're going to want to have an A minor ready to go so we can have these two notes to pick next, the fourth string and third 
string of that. So that little pattern is this. All right, and then pick the fifth string, second string open, fourth string, third string, then the hammer on once again. Okay, slowly that measure looks like this. Then one more thing you'll do, you'll hit this uh, G chord here, it's the second fret of the A string and the third fret of the B string, you'll hit those simultaneously before starting the verse again. Right back into a C chord to start over from like the beginning verse. In this last section, we're going to go through the chorus the same as we did before, but then it changes slightly. So let me go through this first part fairly quickly because we already learned it. A minor. Pinky on G. Pull off to the G, or F sharp, excuse me. G now. Changes at this point, okay? We're going to grab the seventh fret of the D string and the fifth fret of the G string. Still, once again, you're going to play the second string open and the fifth string open, but this time we're going to use these two middle notes with these frets here at seven and five. Same picking pattern. A pull off from seven to five at the end of that. One more time on that measure slowly. The next measure is very similar, except we're going to reverse the fingering. We'll be on 5 on the D string and 7 on the G string this time. Okay, then just slide this fingering down to the 3rd fret and 5th fret of the same strings and do the same picking. Then you're going to have to bar this uh, to hold 3rd fret at the 2nd string and 3rd fret on the D string. Then we want to add 5th fret of the 3rd string here and do the same pattern. Then lift the bar. And that's the whole thing. You can repeat that three times for this entire solo section. And those are all the riffs you need to know for Dust in the Wind. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to get a guitar lesson with me online or in person, go to kjzmusic.com and click the Book Online tab. I'll see you in the next video.